Hello everybody and welcome to a, uh, a camera technique tutorial. Um, my last tutorial my, my last tutorial I did two weeks ago was about camera projection and a few of you guys brought up uh, how I how I animate my camera moves and this will be six yes yeah, six different ways that you can do it. So let's just dive right in. let's close this out. Make a new. Let's make a new camera. Bam! <clears throat> when you make a camera, it's up here. Um, you can also go to create camera. Uh, create camera, and then it's right here. Um, wherever you are in the scene. So if I like back up way over here, hit the camera, it'll make it. So if we go over here, it'll make it. So now there's three cameras. So let's undo all of that. Let's make and uh, close this all out again. Um, so let's make that Motex that you just saw. <coughs> Let's call it camera tut just like just like what I just did. So I'm mouse wheeling out <coughs> to zoom out. I'm just gonna line it up to around there. Let's go quickly to the render settings. Do that thing that we did last time, which was we we're not gonna save it out. Um, change this to 1920 by 108, 1080. <clears throat> uh, 30 frames a second is fine. And then click in the view, uh, the viewpoint, uh, viewport. Hit Shift V. Go to view. Make it like 80 something percent in, in red, just so we can see. Um, <clears throat> the edges of the the camera. So let's make a camera. We're gonna make the camera go swoosh. Just something something simple like that. So I'm gonna make a camera here. Um, so this one will be the first technique. I got the camera. <clears throat> I'll even go to four uh, four view. I'm gonna go to. Uh, cameras, perspective, go to display, quick shading, so you can actually see it. This will be the, the, uh, sorry about that. This will be the, the camera view, and this will be the perspective view. So the first, first way we can do it is simple as this. <clears throat> Make some keyframes. So hit auto, uh, auto keying right here. Sorry, I have a little bit of cold. Uh, go to 40%. Just move it over here and rotate. <clears throat> and look, ooh, your camera is moving around this um, this text. Now it's a little wonky because, like I said, it's the very very standard way you can do it. Uh, you can also go to about 20 20 frames in. Back it up a bit, <clears throat> and it'll it'll go. Pressing F8, it'll swing out and and end up. Change this to 40, so just loops, and it ends up where where we want it to. Now it's it's all wonky because the curves. So if we pull up the curves, go to uh, go to window timeline. Click on this, press spacebar, click on it again. So the reason why I do that is <clears throat> so this is the, the keyframe editor. This is the keyframe editor uh, where you can drop down and look at the curves individually. XYZ, XYZ. Or you can hit spacebar and go to the curve editor. Notice nothing. You can't see anything. Like where, where, where's all my, where are my, all my curves? Well, you have to have something selected. <clears throat> and if you also notice uh, this, this uh, x-axis one, I think that's for the, uh, I think that's for the rotation. It's going way up here. You can also hit spacebar twice. That way, it, it uh, maximizes your screen. So. If you look at the curves, you got you got easing in and easing out, easing in and easing out, and that can cause some discrepancy. Uh, you can 
you if if you like this technique, you can go to <clears throat> you can go to key key spline soft uh, and like move it in a little bit. It probably won't work and never does, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. So that's the quick and easy way to do it. The next way will be the a camera morph. Camera morph came, I think, I think in R13, something like that. So let's just go ahead and delete this camera. Let's make a new camera in this view over here. Let's just maximize it. Boom. <clears throat> uh, let's take off auto keying. You don't need that. Uh, let me check if I made any keyframes. No. Okay. Um, and then make sure you're not selected. <clears throat> make sure this white thing isn't selected. Now move, move your camera over here. Good enough. So now what we're gonna do is make another camera. Boom. So we're gonna move this on top. Just call this camera one, and then we'll call this camera two. So. So if you click this and click this, you may wonder how there's there's got to be a way I can animate this to this just so I can roughly get my animatic done. Yeah, well there is a way. So you right click on here, go to <clears throat> let's go to uh, motion camera tags, go to camera morph, and you simply. Put this in the camera one. Put this in camera two. <coughs> Whoops. Camera one, camera two. And uh, something happened. Uh, something I messed up. Oh, you want to go to multi multi morph? So, holy crap! <coughs> Sorry, I skipped a step. Delete that. Yeah, I noticed notice that the, this this camera moved. You don't want that. So let's put this camera back to this one, this way over here. So we're gonna make another camera. Boom. So this is gonna be the camera animate. Make this selected. Now right click, go to camera, camera morph. Um, go to multi multi morph. You can do single morph, but I want to show you that. Uh, Actually, let's go single morph. I'll show you the difference. Um, so we put the camera one in there, camera two, and this is the blend. One to two, one to two, one to two. Now, if you have three cameras, that's where the camera morph comes 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 in play. So if I go ahead and deselect this, make a camera like way out here. Put this here. Name this. Alright, so we're going to click on this, and we're going to go to camera 1, boom, camera 2, boom, camera 3, boom. So, when you go to 0 to 50, 50% should be where the camera 2 is, and 100% should be where the camera 3 is. Now you notice, <clears throat> the pivot point is just like going nuts, man, it's going everywhere. Um, that's just because camera morphs shouldn't be used in uh, final production. It should only be used for animatics, in my opinion. There have been ways I've definitely used it in final production, but it requires a ton of tweaking. Um, a ton. So, now let's do a third one, a third version. We're going to get rid of all of these. So, we're just going to have the first camera. We're going to add a null to it. So go to object null, and uh, we're going to make this center in the middle. That way, the middle of your entire let's let's put the grid on the middle of the entire scene is is right there, and that's that's where the null is. So we're going to right click on the camera, go to uh, Cinema 4D tags go to target and you're gonna throw a target in there see now now I have the camera selected wherever I go whoops 
wherever I go, it's nulled to the center of that object. Alright, so let's go ahead and just make some keyframes. So let's just go to 40 again. I'm going to go to this view because it would be easier just to click and drag. Make a keyframe. Okay, so, so now I forgot to make a keyframe in the beginning. That's okay. Just do this. Boom. Make a keyframe. So now it's go it's it's a little less wonky, but you have this pivot point where it's always going to be in the center of um, the text, which is exactly what we wanted. But you notice it goes in and out. Most people want it to be on a curve. Um, well, these will the the next three ways to do this will show you how to. Do how to do that. So let's go to the very first one again. Let's, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the null, get rid of uh, the target. <clears throat> um, get rid of any keyframes that I have, which I have a few. Delete. We're going to actually center out the camera. So I'm going to center it out. So if you go down here, go to zero, 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 enter, zero, enter, zero, enter. So now the camera is is at zero, 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 and it's completely centered out. We're going to add, we're going to add a null. Don't bother, don't look, don't bother to look at this frame. Look at this frame over here, the perspective frame. So we're going to add a null, go to create null object, and we're going to just call this uh, camera camera rotate and what we're gonna do is we're gonna parent we're gonna make this a child of the camera ro rotate which I spelled wrong cuz I'm amazing rotate um, and we're just gonna bring this camera out oops we're gonna bring this camera out and we're probably going to bring it bring this down so the center of this is completely in the center. Um, so now what we're going to do is press R for the rotate and we're just going to do this. Rotate here to here. Uh, notice that it makes a wonderful arc. You'll see it when uh, the curve comes into play right now. Um, so, if you go the the top view, which is none of these, but this is close enough right here, uh, notice that it it makes a comp a nice arc, and nothing and nothing is going wonky over here, and it's wonderful. So that's that's one way you can make a fantastic arc. Um, uh, another way is is my uh, is my favorite because I you can uh, you can adjust the the arc to do whatever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that. <clears throat> this can also be a little wonky, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna first create another null again, and it's in the center, and we're going to we're going to do that old technique. We're going to put it, uh, a target tag. That way it's in the very very center. And we're going to we're going to go ahead and make an arc. So the uh, the arc needs to lie down like so. Let's make this arc bigger. Let's rotate this arc like not that 90 degrees. And that should be good. So now what we're going to do is right click on the camera, go to the camera cinema 4D tags, align the spline. So we're going to align this to the spline. Um, we're going to start at, I don't know why it's reversed. That's weird. But that's okay. We're going to start at 100%. 
make a keyframe we're gonna have, hold down control for uh, max it's alt and then go to 40 and then can, uh, make another keyframe at zero and check it out it's aligned to the spline making this perfect arc so you can have the spline do whatever you want you can have this sucker uh, first you're gonna have to press C to make it a uh, edible spline and you can make this thing <laughs> let's just make it go nuts alright let's do this and then do this and then do this See now, now you can see the tra tra uh, trajectory, trajectory of of the object, but it's just gonna won't 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 won't. It just looks goofy as all heck, but that's okay. Um, so that's usually how I do the like coming soon type of stuff. Um, and one more thing about this arc uh, technique is I tend to add a drift to everything I do. So we're going to go to 80 frame. Uh, we're going to max it out at 80 frames. And we're going to make a keyframe. Boom. At... doesn't really matter. Just make it 20. Make it a nice even number. And then 80. And then we're just going to simply rotate it. And then we're also going to rotate it. Oops. Put auto keyframing on. Rotate it. And we're going to rotate it up. So, so it goes. If uh, it's much more apparent when you do when you tighten up these keyframes. So let's make it like 20% or 20 frames, sorry, and then so it's quickly going to it and drifting. And quickly drifting. So those those are those are um, the six different ways that you can animate your camera doing whatever you like. Um, um, there was one more technique, but you know, it, it it's it'll just become a hassle. It, it was go, it was uh, I was gonna I was gonna combine the morph, the spline, the target, and everything. Um, but that's okay. You don't you don't need to know that. Um, so yeah, those are four different ways to uh, animate cameras in Cinema 4D. Um, if you like this tutorial, leave a like. Um, follow me if you like. I do tutorials pretty much every Sunday. Next Sunday I won't because I will be on vacation. So the Sunday after that, or the Tuesday after that, it sh another tutorial should be up. That one will be a lot more fun, um, be funner than this one, because this is this was just kind of a uh, an intro on how to how to animate cameras in Cinema 4D. Um, okay, well, thanks for watching, and have a great day.